In this video, we will learn how to create this amazing pixelate photo effect using Photoshop CC 2017. It will be super fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we will create a pixel effect and I will speak a little slow because uh, I speak too much faster and it is difficult to understand what I am talking about. So today I will try to speak slow as I as much as I possible. So uh, let's start. We will use this image before using anything else. We, I will first tell you that try to use full high definition image if you want to get a high definition output. So this image is pretty much high definition and uh, we will use this image for today's tutorial and uh, it is a RGB and 8 bit so make sure that you have a RGB image and it has 8 bit image and it is 72 pixels per inch. So keep in mind that these little things. So before we start let's just click on crop tool and we'll click and we'll increase the area of our uh, room so we could get more details about our character or our pixel effects like this now if it is unchecked it means that you will click on check mark and it will be leave as a png or whatever it will fill with foreground color maybe but if you click on this you will see that it is a content aware fill areas so if you check on check mark on this and then you will click on this check mark it will automatically fill this area into these empty corners let me just click on this one and the work is begun let it fill uh, this is a great tool and it will automatically fill this area with uh, your original layer using your original layer and it is very very nice and unique work and you will not need to effort on or we can say that we need don't need to spend our uh, important time on this uh, to filling this area by manual so it will take a little time but look at this isn't it amazing I really love this feature you will see that it will automatically fill these sides now we will go to layer new layer and click on background layer it will uh, do a lock on it and name it as background so now we will create a new layer and we will name this as brush the name of this uh, layer will be in lowercase keep in mind that it is in, in lowercase now we will select our brush tool and the foreground color doesn't matter so we'll select a red color or you can select green color or whatever you like to use and size it up your brush tool don't be worry try to use a soft brush uh, hardness should be zero percent and then we will fill this area and select that area on which you want to apply or we can say that burst our pixels so i am going to select this area and uh, sorry in this area don't be worried about that it is just a selection on separate layer your original layer will not be affected so fill it carefully great very nice we'll also fill it with uh, these hands it will give a nice look same thing on this side that's great that's it now what we'll do is we'll simply just uh, make it sure that everything is filled very carefully okay so now we'll go to 
windows actions and click on if you don't uh, don't know about how to load these actions just click on this uh, icon and click on load actions and navigate your this folder to the file where you downloaded that file extract that and there will be a pixelated file it is a action file so select and click on load but as i already loaded it so i don't need to do it again so click on this uh, arrow and you will see that there are different directions left right up down middle and build yourself so we will use down because we have selected this uh, particular image so click on down and it will automatically purge so don't need to go to edit and purge so click on play button and wait for the process to complete its work it will take a little time so have a patience and wait for process to complete its work okay so the process is completed just close the side panel and press ctrl alt and we'll close all of these groups at once so click and you will see that all of these groups are closed look at this amazing output i love this now what we'll need to do is we'll just click on this pixelated we'll see that it has created some groups so click on this arrow and now here are you can control your small particles your big particles your these particles and you can even uh, select your foreground blurred particles you can see that and you can even turn off this small grid which is visible on here so we'll turn off this and you will see that it has creating a nice effect so this is not worth it you can increase the small particles as well like if you want to increase small particles you just need to click and drag and create a copy of this small particles group and select this group close this one and you can just create how um, as much as you want to create particles so I don't need to create them because the default is very nice and that's it uh, you can even change also some colors here are some color options you can change colors also there are also very nice uh, combinations here look at this these are also very nice uh, combinations or you can choose a default like this one so I hope you like this video and if you like this video make sure to thumbs up this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel because if you want to support me if you like my work anyway you can support me just need to click on subscribe button and it will be great help for me and I hope you like this video and we'll meet in our next video you can download these uh, action files from the link given in the description bar this is totally free these are premium but i'm providing them free so i hope you like my work we will meet in our next video never stop and keep learning